This is Peggy D. Mercurio, the Education Coordinator at the Anton Art Center, and I'm here today to uh, work on a fun project with you. Um, we're going to make some dot art using CDs. Uh, that just happens to be the um, object we're going to paint on, but you can paint uh, your dots on just about any surface that you'd like. Uh, some people even like to add them to glasses and um, other vases and artwork like that. Um, but like I said, today we are going to work with uh, CD. So some of the supplies that you're going to need, I'm going to switch our camera. Okay, so we're going to um, use some paint. Uh, you can't really see the white on here, but I've got three colors of paint. Uh, this cool green, a blue, and white. And uh, we're going to need some water and some items that we're going to use to paint with. So what we're painting with today is going to be a pencil eraser. And we can also do dots with the uh, sharpened end, uh, the end of a paintbrush, some Q-tips, and making little ones with some toothpicks. So uh, the toothpick dots are actually one of the most fun, the small ones. Um, I'm also going to have some water on hand for uh, rinsing off the brushes, some paper towel. I'm going to use some chalk uh, to draw my grid. I'm going to place my, so that you can see it, I'm going to place my uh, CD on here. Uh, you'll notice we're going to start, we, you start off with uh, a CD. You can also always paint on the silvery part, but these have been painted uh, black so that the paint will show up nicely against them. You could do any color uh, that you wanted to. So our first step, once we've got everything, you know, the table is covered because we're using some paint. We want to make sure that uh, we don't get paint on our tables. Uh, so we are going to start off with, um, you see on here, uh, I took just a blank, a blank CD that was painted black and I drew some grid marks on it. Uh, you can use the pencil to do that very lightly or um, the chalk was easy because um, I actually have erased and uh, redone these lines a couple of times. Uh, the grid just makes it a lot more easy for us to do our dots um, because I'll tell you put it on the mark or put it between the mark, on, on the mark or between. So we're going to alternate between drawing on the line and drawing in between the line with our dots. So I'm going to put that down here. And uh, one of the things that we need to do is get our Q-tip ready because there's going to be two ends of the Q-tip we're going to use. One end is going to be that fluffy side. And what we're going to do is uh, prep it a little bit by dipping it in the um, any color of paint really and swirling it around and this will just help to cure it so that you don't have all the little fuzzies sticking out so uh, we'll give that a minute to dry and now this end you can we want to uncover the um, stick so you can rip off the um, q-tips or i found a little trick i just took the um some scissors and cut off that tip and then flatten it out a little bit so that it's uh, round and gonna do the dot. Now, um, these are the paper cotton swabs or Q-tips uh, that we'll use for the dots. We're gonna use our pencil eraser. Um, for me, that's gonna be my biggest dot that I'm gonna use today. Uh, there, you can do the, the um, student pencils that have the big eraser, which are nice, or you can, um, you can use dowels. Anything that's uh, round on the end is good for making a dot. Um, one tip too, when you're making dots, you want to make sure that the, um, whatever you're pressing down for your dot is going to be straight down rather than you don't want to do your dots on an angle because the, it, the paint won't go straight. You always want to go straight down. So I'm going to start with, I'm going to do white dots in a circle in the middle here. Now, because this is a CD, a lot of times you would start with one big dot in the middle. And um, I may go after um, 
afterwards and put one of those cool jewels right there in the middle. I can glue it on there. But um, so that's going to be my first dot. I'm going to count as the whole. And so then I'm going to go with the Q-tip and I'm going to do dots on what the line would be. So I'm dipping in the paint. And then, like I said, I'm going to go straight down, put a dot here, a dot here, get some more paint. And you can always go back afterwards and touch up any dots if you don't feel you've got enough paint coverage. Okay, so there's our first set of dots. Next, I'm gonna go with a little bit bigger dot and use the pencil eraser. And I think I'll go with blue. You can use as many colors as you want. And I'm gonna do this one in between. You can add as many of your grid marks as you would like as well. And so by doing it this way, we are staggering. So these blue dots are going in between the grid marks. Straight down. So now we've got white dots and we've got blue dots. So now for my, and um, I mentioned that I also have some water here because I'm going to clean off my eraser. Um, the paint that I'm using is acrylic paint. Um, you can use craft paint. Acrylic paint um, stands up more, but um, you can get acrylic craft paint, there's patio paint, there's outdoor paint, there's all kinds of different paints that you can use for this project. So now I'm going to do a dot a little bit farther down, space it down, and I'm going to go on the grid marks with this really pretty green. Again, I want to go straight down. So now I've got my green on there. See that? So it's kind of almost like a, a snowflake pattern right now. So now I'm gonna, uh, I think I'm gonna touch up my white. Looks like my first couple dots could use a little more paint on there. Go. Yep. Yeah. This one off, and I've got a blue one that could use a little. So just touching those up. Okay. So now I'm going to add a little extra on here. So by spacing things apart, we've got a little bit of extra space, and so we can add a little. Um, what Miss Cheryl, who taught us how to do this, um, add a little crown to our dots. And so to add the crown, I'm going to use a toothpick, uh, which is nice because the toothpick's got that real uh, tiny end. So I think I'm going to start on the, um, on the blue dots, and I think I'm going to add green crown. And then on my green, I'll add a blue crown. So to do this, you're going to add one dot straight down. And then you're going to kind of go along the curve. So one dot in the middle, and then two, three, four, five. 
add some more paint. And then I'm gonna do four going the other way. So one in the middle, two, three, four, five. And then now I've just added a little crown to that dot. And I'm gonna do the same thing on my next dot. One, two, three, four, five. And you can um, always add One, two, three. You could always add uh, more paint as you go along. And again, remember to go straight down. That one I did a little bit on an angle. You wanna watch and make sure you're not touching any of your wet dots. One in the middle, two, three, four, And as you practice, you get much better with doing the dots. This first one you do, you know, things might not be exactly symmetrical or um, even spacing, and that's okay. It's still gonna look great. Dots here, one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Next one, one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. Okay, and I've got one more in this row. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay. So now I filled in some of that space with little crowns around the dots. And two, I can go back because I've got some space. I could always add some more um, dot colors as I'm going along too. Like I said, you can pick um, other things that are bigger so that you can uh, make big dots and find other things to make small dots. So our last one that we did was the green one on here. So I think I can start doing two dots in here now because we're at the bigger part. So I'm gonna do two blue dots in that space. And you can pick whatever type of pattern that you want to make. Like that one. <laughs> Space those a little close. Now I've got the little side of the Q-tip and that's gonna make a smaller dot. So I'm gonna do a little white dot on either side. Some more dots, add some more colors here. There. And you just fill in where you feel like you would like to see some more colors. Okay, so now we've added those. Now, back 
first ordering. And you're going to decide when you've filled in enough dots. And that you're happy with your design. And so I fill that all out. I can go back and um, once it's dry and I can erase the um, chalk marks if I would like to. Add some dots, little crowns. Mark out the green. Now the little blue dots don't stand out as much. So I think maybe I'll switch and do some white dots with the green. One, two, three, four, five. Then one in the middle, then two, three, four, five. You can even add multiple colors to the dots that you already had down. Once things dry, you could go back and add some more. Um, you could add a dot of color right into the center. One, two, three, four. Okay, so then I got the little dots on that side. Now I'm gonna go back with and I just love this green color, so I'm gonna add some green. We have big green dots, and then I'm gonna do little green dots. And I do like the black background. So I'm good with uh, leaving some of the black space too. All righty. And so there you go. It'll take just a few minutes for all of this to dry. Like I said, I can leave the chalk marks on there or they'll eventually uh, fade. And uh, this can now, you could hang it uh, on a nail if you wanted to use it inside, uh, you could hang it on a fence, you could uh, hang it from some fishing line or yarn and hang it from a tree or a garden stake so that you can uh, use it to decorate your garden. Thank you so much for joining us today for the CD art. I hope you enjoy it and have a great day.